SoftBank is working on a future vision of the information revolution in telecom. As massively distributed computing is required for this vision, we will demo a key technology that enables the use of massively distributed computing resources like multi-access edge computing, or MEC. We need to go beyond today's static mobile architecture, where a limited number of devices are connected to the internet. 5G is promising massive distribution of computing resources like MEC. However, such distribution is costly as billions of session states need to be distributed and maintained across the entire network. The Segment Routing V6 Mobile User Plane, or SRV6 MUP, eliminates pain points in the 5G architecture by transforming the mobile user plane from session management to simply routing. SRV6 MUP efficiently handles increasing mobile traffic and will be a game changer for the coming 5G IoT era. Arcus and VMware deeply understand the problem of SoftBank trying to solve and decide to support SoftBank's vision to be realized through SRV6 MUP implementation. Let's introduce the SRV6 MUP architecture. There are three main entities in architecture. Namely, the MUP controller transforms mobile session information from the 5G core into IP route information advertising it to MUP gateways and MUP PEs through Border Gateway Protocol, BGP. The MUP gateway translates GTP packets to SRV6 packets and vice versa in a stateless manner. The MUP PE routes packets based on the IP routes received from MUP C. Now let's see an SRV6 MUP demo running in our virtual lab. SoftBank, together with Arcus, has validated the deployment of ArcOS mobile user plane workloads over VMware ESXi, connected to a full 5G core test suite. This demo shows a seamless integration between the 5G control plane, SMF, AMF, existing RAN elements, UE, GNB, the user plane, UPF, and the Arcus programmable SRV6 fabric solution. Arc OS workloads are deployed on VMware ESXi in three roles. The first, MUP-C, connects to the control plane and delivers network programming to the MUP gateway and MUP-PE user plane workloads. The MUP-PE and PE-1 are SRV6 L3 VPN edge roles that can transport either GTPU or IPv4 V6 user packets over the programmable SRV6 fabric. The MUP gateway is a stateless translation function between GTPU and SRV6, allowing GTPU tunnels to be terminated at distributed edges on the SRV6 fabric. MUP gateway connects to the RAN on the N3 interface, carrying GTPU tunnels over an SRV6 VPN to PE1. PE1 connects to the 5G UPF, with GTPU tunnels to the RAN on the N3 interface and with decapsulated user traffic to and from the external data network, DN, on the N6 interface, which is delivered to MUP PE1 and the DN over another SRV6 VPN. Routes for the RAN and UPF endpoints are advertised with BGP as an SRV6 L3 VPN. Keysight's 5G load core test software simulates the 5G control and user plane functions, including end-to-end -end traffic. The functions are configured in the Load Core Web UI, distributed across three Load Core Agent VMs interfacing with a programmable SRV6 fabric. After confirming the configuration in Load Core, reachability to the UPF over the SRV6 fabric is verified on the MUP gateway, which will put the GTP tunnel into an SRV6 tunnel toward the UPF using the end.dt4sid on PE1. Next, the GNB side of the GTP tunnel is checked for reachability over the SRV6 fabric, ensuring that the UPF can send traffic toward the user. The GTP tunnel will be carried in an SRV6 packet toward the end.dt4sid on MUP gateway. Bidirectional traffic is started in load core. NGRAN transmit and receive traffic is verified with corresponding UPF transmit and receive traffic as well as with corresponding DN transmit and receive traffic. This verifies that the SRV6 fabric is delivering GTPU traffic to and from the 5G UPF and that the UPF is sending and receiving toward the external DN. Again, on the MUP PE, 
send and receive traffic is verified on the N3 and both N6 interfaces, with the UPF terminating the GTPU tunnels. Enabling the SRV6 mobile user plane, MUP, is done with the addition of a controller, MUPC, which transforms 5G session information to routing information and advertises it to the MUP Gateway and MUP PEVMs. MUP Gateway receives SRV6 policies, defining which GTPU tunnels terminate and forward inner packets over SRV6. MUP PE1 receives UE routes, which tell it how to send traffic to UE via MUP Gateway with specific SRV6 segment ID, SID, values, such that the stateless translation can take place at the MUP Gateway. There are no changes to the load core configuration. Segment routing policies are received at the MUP Gateway and used to program GTP tunnel termination entries, which will perform routing for inner packet and forward it over SRV6 for upstream traffic from RAN to DN. For the UE route 172.16.0.2, there is an SRV6 VPN route that will use a SID and codes all of the parameters necessary to fill in the GTP header when it is translated at the MUP gateway. This is the fundamental enabler of stateless translation at the MUP gateway, and it is updated in real time by MUP controller as the 5G session information is updated. Starting the test session in load core. This time, the UPF is not part of the forwarding path. DN transmit and receive traffic through MUP PE, corresponds with the NG RAN traffic between the RAN and the MUP gateway. Bidirectional traffic is verified on the DN facing N6 interface from MUP PE, with the MUP PE providing the SRV6 fabric edge for traffic to and from the MUP gateway, where GTPU termination took place. The N3 and N6 interfaces toward the UPF have no traffic. This demo has shown SRV6 MUP a revolutionary route-oriented mobile user plane approach using ArcOS from Arcus. SRV6 MUP evolves the user plane to empower network operators with massive distributed computing deployments. SoftBank believes that our information revolution vision will be realized with this distributed computing environment and SRV6 MUP.